What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special guest with me. This is Blake. And today we're gonna have some fun with fish. Um, you're going to teach me how to fillet a whole fish. So I've actually learned this in culinary school, but like a whole fish is very expensive and they, they won't give you like your personal one to fillet. I just saw it with my eyes. I was just like, okay, like that's how you do it. Cool. Right. But I've never actually have done it myself. All right. Let's I nervous. crack open this box and see what kind of fish we have. Okay. The fresh wasabi from Japan. We have our striped bass. This is from Baja, Mexico. And then these two, this is from New Zealand. This is the king salmon from New Zealand. And then, yeah, the tuna is also from Baja, Mexico. How do you store fish? Like, especially this type of fish. So, storing your fish, if it's fresh, I would use your fish as soon as you get it, you know, one to two days as soon as you get it. But if you are working with something like, we have super frozen fish, which is exactly the same fish, like, for example, I would take this striped bass, I would get it in on a Monday, and on that same Monday, I would cut and portion and super freeze at negative 70. No preservatives, no nothing chemicals, just really, really cold processing. So that, I would just put it in the freezer and you, you could pretty much have it like two weeks later. Wow. Don't you ever get so tempted to just Just like, hair grills it? Just bite into it. <laughs> like a bear? Fish is really fresh when you can see that the eye clarity is right there. <laughs> now kid. First step, we're gonna wanna take the head off. It's the gill right here and I open it up like that. This or this? That, yeah, you see, you have to get your knife under this little gill okay, plate. Got Did I do it? All the way through. All the way right to the, you can feel that neck. This way. Where's the neck? Get ready. Right you feel the big bone? Yeah. Is that the neck? Yeah. Flip it over, do the same thing on the other side. Slide it right there, like that, and then flip the blade away from you and just perfect. All right, this Honestly, is the part. mine looks cleaner than yours. Hey, okay, you know. <laughs> just saying. Snap this back. So, like this, and then. There you go. All right, and then with this blade right here, <laughs> finish it off. Easy. We have. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Pause <laughs> for Put a hand on top right there. And with one motion. One more. Oh! Alright, so this one we're gonna just take the uh, collar off. So this beautiful little chicken wing of the sea. Yeah. Yes. You know my favorite thing to eat are wings. They're, they're your favorite. Why, like, why are they your favorite? Like literally the my favorite thing to eat because I realized that I can eat any type of wings and it would still be good to me. If it's like the nastiest, soggiest wings, I will still eat it. And that is why it's my favorite. I don't know if I agree with that. You Love the have, soggy wings. And you don't the have rubbery. to agree with me. I just realized like I would actually eat it. Well then you're gonna love this. <laughs> One hand here and then I kind of get a little bit of like a grab on it. And that's when I take right here and just one little. Okay, right here? Yeah, just one down and then pull it over. Oh, yes. Fish wings. Some light, you know. Well, I guess um, if there's one tip for everybody that's watching is clean, 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 clean. When it comes to eating raw fish, clean surface to clean surface to clean surface. So with that being said. Clean as you go. Just cooking in general, clean as you go. So like the cleaning process, like the cleaning afterwards won't be as crazy. My first cut is just an incision and it's just above that. This is the part you need a sharp knife. Okay, so this one is just same entry. And we are just hugging the bones. With the knife, you're actually gonna feel the, the spine at the end and it's gonna make like a little bit of like a, a little tick tick tick. How did it go? Tick tick tick. Got noted. And then starting from the tail side. I'm good, I was just watching to see if you're doing it right. And right above the fin. Right above the fin. I don't know if I did that okay, right. Okay, okay. Wow, look that at her! That's not bad, that's not bad. I have to say, that's a pretty good cut. I do hear that <laughs> The what? The That's all I gotta do. <laughs> it's, it's so easy, anyone can do it. Literally. 
We're gonna lift up both sides of the filet like that. We're gonna pop our knife through it right there. We're gonna finish it this way. A knife through here. So pick up both sides like this. Yeah. Like that. And then just go right through the top right there. Yep. Cool. Perfect. Oh, careful with her. Oh. Hold her by the tail. Yeah, you put the meat over your, t your hand so you don't squeeze the meat. Oh, over my hand? There you go, like that, exactly. And you can hold it, you can kind of do an opposite pull and push. Ah. You see that? There she goes. Got to that part, trade the knives. Bones cracking casually. Yep. Okay. Okay. Wow. My first ever filet. Bone? So, can I just eat this? Yeah. Wow. It's good, right? I'm literally about to <laughs> bite this whole fish. <laughs> no biting the fish. <laughs> So one rule today. The thing is, when I'm in the kitchen, I snack a lot. I'm a snacky person. Yeah. So if you tell me I can eat something, I will eat it. <laughs> like in school, I would eat all of our ingredients and my table would be so mad. What school was that? Culinary school um, at the Arts Institute in North Hollywood. these little connective tissues. I'm not trying to cut too deep into the fish. I'm just trying to, you can hear it. It's like just releasing from the rib cage right there. This is an interesting cut. You're trying to save some meat. Yeah. Um, because the belly is so good. But I get to this part and this is like my little like fish cutting move. I actually go in between the ribs. I go in between each rib like that. And then I go out and then I do another in between this rib right here and then I go yeah I like your method of doing it like kind of one by one so you're probably pretty familiar with working with fillets so this is like what all of you guys are probably used to working with so Toya what's your favorite fish to eat to eat I feel like if I say it you're gonna judge me it's your I really like catfish. Catfish? <laughs> it's made from, what the fuck? She said catfish. I love catfish. Why? No, I mean, the catfish is great. I mean, it's it's amazing. It's the best fish on the planet. <laughs> My favorite raw fish, I would probably say is, oof. To be honest, this king salmon is not a joke when it comes to raw, like, this fish, like, there's like, everyone's tried salmon, but nobody's tried orking. Like, I tell you, it's like, I'm not trying to be like a salesman or anything here. Like, orking actually tastes like, incredible. Okay. What's your favorite raw fish? Mine? I would have to say, recently it's been toro. Toro? Yeah. We're gonna take any skin off. So you're gonna know. Lovely. All right, so, we do our second side, but. Front and back, looks pretty good to me. Ready for all the sashimi here. For me, just one smooth cut. Like okay. Cool, you did it. So that's our first loin. So for a typical sushi bar, um, I am no professional sushi bar chef, but I do kind of know how to do this. Put two hands like that, that's about the right amount of saku for me, at least. And I can work with this piece right here really well. This so that's just... how you measure it? Yeah, exactly. And it's kind of like, in a way, it's kind of like the same length of like maybe a nori sheet. Like maybe, mm. yeah. But your hands are bigger than my hands. Right, so that's that's the cool thing about being, you know, a chef in the sense you have everybody's hands different, everybody cuts different. So this is the up and down. So just one. So that's- I fucked up. Um, these pieces over here are a little ugly, so I'm just gonna leave that to the side. Other fish that we want. Okay. Let's go a little sideways. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Whoa, look at the color. Did you dive this? <laughs> no. 
This is like 100% natural. Wow. I'm telling you, this is like my favorite salmon. There's nothing like it. Ori King salmon. Like. Would you be mad? Eat it. No, yeah, <laughs> go for kidding. it. If you want to try a little bit, here, I'll give you a little slice. Here. Whoa. It's sweet. Yeah, so typically salmon out there, it, it's too fatty sometimes. Yeah. And so it's almost like a wild fatty salmon. It's not too fatty though. My hands are so oily from this fish. You Same. How do you make a heart. salmon uh, rose? You know, actually, a salmon rose, I actually saw it done one time. Should we try? Yeah, we should. <laughs> okay. We should absolutely try. I've never done it before. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Come <laughs> on, I will. <laughs> Just gonna cut it and then roll it in a sec. That's my rose. Hold on, I'm gonna catch up. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Wait. It looks like a confused rose. <laughs> Let's just make a road. <laughs> Never done <does> that. <laughs> it's the akami. So that's the most lean part of the, of the bluefin. Mm. Burgundy. Nice and burgundy. I'm gonna restart this. My plate has character. <laughs> My plate has sass. <laughs> So these are the same fish as you can see here, but you see this is what I'm talking about this tutorial. You see this red hue? Mm -hmm. This is the flavor, and this is like the distracting mouthfeel of the butteriness. We'll cut straight down on this one, but it's as you can see, it's so soft. Yeah, it's like that, falling apart. Yep, yeah, this one's like all the blade. This cut. Can't really put pressure or she'll break the, the meat. Right here. Perfect. Put the Otoro on the centerpiece. Shall we? Break into our fresh wasabi and our little grater too. You wanna hear a fun fact about wasabi? Yeah. So wasabi is actually not a root. People think that wasabi is a root, but it's above the ground. So it's actually defined as a rhizome. A what? Rhizome. <laughs> that. This is our shark skin grater. Okay. This is actually real shark skin. Whoa, so this is how a shark feels like? Yep. Cool. Yeah. Dang. I feel like they'd feel smoother than that. The reason why we use this shark skin right here. So a shark died for this. Great. Yeah. Now I'm gonna get canceled. And the fish died for all this too. <laughs> shark skin grater. It tastes when you when you grind uh, wasabi with uh, metal, mm -hmm. it actually will make it taste like acidic. Oh. Most restaurants will be using horseradish wasabi, which it's actually a lot hotter than regular wasabi. Regular wasabi is more flavorful. And... There you go. It's a spoon. Yeah, it's not as spicy. You don't get that like crazy sensation in your nose. You get that rush when you eat the other one, which is just like debilita debilitating, like just right. wasabi bomb to the face. I like this green. A lot all of that work. work. All that work. All that work. This is my first sashimi platter. I feel very proud. Are you proud? And this is me? my very first sashimi platter. This is so full of shit. Look at this. <laughs> you made this this morning? Thank you so much for teaching me how to fillet a fish. I feel pretty confident that I can do it again without your help. So I learned something new today. It was like another um, another achievement underneath uh, my belt. 
You pretty much did this like by yourself, so like I think you probably would have nailed it without me, but I was just there for like helping out a little bit. Okay, so. I'll try. I'll try it without you next time, and then we'll see. We'll see. Just film it. Make sure you film it. Okay. Okay. And then Can we cheers? Yes. Cheers. cheers. Mm. It's it's like next level, right? Yeah, I love it. This is the chew toro that we're eating. Chew toro. So this is the medium fatty blue. I love the flavor. I love that it still has texture, but there's a lot of fat in my mouth. Right? Yeah. Do you want to jump it down to here? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's really a Mmm. Mm. It got a bit spicy for me. Did it? For a second, yeah. But you back. But I'm back. <laughs> Before we get to our our finale over here in the Oto, let's do the uh, working again. Okay. Best sashimi I've ever had. Well, you made it, so yeah. I guess sashimi is better when you make it yourself. Right. right? Wow. This is sweet. See what I'm saying? Yeah. You asked me earlier, like, what's my favorite? And sometimes I feel like, you know, it's like a basic thing to say salmon, you know? But this is different. I really can't get over how sweet it is. How often do you eat fish? I want to say every day, but probably a solid 300 days a year. And, and as far as for like this year, I've been really focusing on trying to get better at sushi because it's just the practice makes perfect kind of yeah. hard. I need to stop putting a lot of... Wasabi? It just keeps getting my nose. <laughs> yeah, we are about to go and smash the rest of this. Thank you so much, Blake, for mm -hmm. everything today. This was very insightful. It was very fun and delicious. And um, you can find more of Blake. I'll put like the app right here on the screen. Somewhere, Jordan. Put it, put it somewhere. Right here, right here, right here, anywhere. And you can find more of me on all social platforms at Toy Bay. And I'll see you guys next time.